Welcome everyone, Adam. The Woo here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I feel like taking an Uber today. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I've ordered the Uber. Three minutes until arrival. All right, I made it. That was my Uber driver. Disneyland Resort, straight ahead that way. It's so much different coming from the Harbor Boulevard side than it is the parking structure side. It saves you about a 15 minute walk or a 10 to 15 minute wait for the tram just by exiting off of Harbor and walking straight through here. Disneyland's right there. The bag check almost did not let me through with this, but because it is technically a little mini tripod, we're good to go. Back to the issue of the Uber and my review of the Uber. I got here in about 10 minutes. I live five miles from the park. 10 minutes to get dropped off on Harbor. No less than about 90 seconds to walk from Harbor Boulevard through the front bag checks. And now I am at Disneyland. Saving me probably, no joke, about a half hour. Thumbs up. If you've never used Uber before and you want to, use my free coupon code for a $15 free ride. Try it out. <laughs> I've been wanting to ride with the Dapper Dans down Main Street for a long time. It always eludes me. For some reason, I can't find a spot. This time, I just walked right in, sat down on the front, and was serenaded and dropped off right here. It's a good day so far. It seems like every time I'm out here lately, I always see baby ducks with their mom right there. And I got a nice coffee, so that makes it doubly fantastic. He's singing about Woody, and Woody's over there. What's going on, fellas? You guys having a good day so far? Having a good one? All right, carry on. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. I'll see you soon. This is a cool little spot. You can sit here, eat lunch, and watch all the trains exiting. Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain. The exit dumps off right where I'm eating lunch. Oh, how glorious it is to watch all the fun people having a grand time on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland. Look at that little turtle right there. Hello, turtle. Little turtle just chilling. 
I just noticed right here next to the Matterhorn and beside Autopia is now a non-smoking area. For years, this was the smoking area. No longer a smoking region. And also, have you ever noticed this? It's Nemo. It's a hidden Nemo. in front of me just finished pumping gas no joke five minutes ago and is sitting here with her brake lights on just chilling I just need to pull up into her spot so I can get gas cuz I'm on E but I'm just waiting here she's just hanging out just chilling just relaxing don't know what she's doing okay success gas has been gotten I went back home to get my van because I'm going up to the Santa Fe I believe it's called Santa Fe Springs swap meet I went there last weekend and I saw a flyer that there's a cover band. I don't know if they're gonna be good, I don't know if they're gonna be bad, but it struck my interest. And how often is a flea market open at night, after dark? I've never experienced that. There's the downtown Santa Ana, Orange County water tower. Never in my entire life have I been to a flea market or a swap meet after dark. Crazy. Not even thinking correctly, I did not bring any cash, and this is a cash-only entrance flea market. $2.50 to get in. I don't have any cash. But then I discovered this ATM next to this very noisy... I don't know what this is, but it's making a god-awful racket right up here. Okay, got cash. I'm going in. Man, that thing's really loud. Look at the wooden painted... <laughs> I don't know what these are on the side of this wall. Look at this police officer. We will prosecute you for vandalism. We will prosecute you for vandalism. Okay, I get my ticket to go in. I think I'm gonna get a hot dog. That hot dog was so good, I forgot to film it. That's how good it was. I scarfed it out, I breathed it down. It's crazy when you go to a flea market and it's one of the best hot dogs you've ever eaten in your entire life. <laughs> Way to go, Santa Fe Springs Flea Market hot dog stand. I'm now heading into the middle of the flea market. There's a stage set up. Some bands are playing and one of the bands is a Nirvana cover band. Now I saw Nirvana in 1993 prior to Kurt Cobain passing away. This will be the first time I've seen a Nirvana band playing Nirvana songs, an entire set of all those songs. Some of my favorite songs from my youth. It's not gonna be the same. It's a cover band. Probably not gonna be what I'm hoping it will be, but it's an experience, right? The interesting thing about this, where I am from in Florida or any other place that you might be used to, people do not come out in droves after the sun goes down to see bands play. That is a lot different here at the Santa Fe <laughs> Springs Swap Meet. Once we get over there, you will see there are hundreds, if not a thousand people sitting around, drinking beer, partying. They're in a full party atmosphere. One question. Let me hear all the Nirvana fans make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, Nirvana is come on! Mom and Dad went to a show. Grab a beer! Go over there and buy a bunch of micheladas and beers. Hipster Vader? Okay, heading out. Only stayed for maybe three or four songs. It was cool. I love Nirvana. 
Don't know how I feel about Nirvana cover bands, but for a Nirvana cover band, they're pretty good. It's getting kind of late now, just sitting here kind of dozing off, starting to get the sleepy eyes. One last thing I want to talk about for the vlog. Been doing a lot of thinking lately about a few things. Have some things up here spinning around and just contemplating the future and whatnot. And I think it's very important to listen to your own advice. Everyone is good at giving advice. I am good at giving advice and telling my friends and my family and acquaintances and total strangers and vicarious people on the internet. I'm good at telling people what to do, or at least what I think they should do. And we're all guilty of it, not just me. You've probably been guilty of it at some point where you know someone who is, who has done that or is guilty of that, doing that as well. And I think when you're going to make a decision, any kind of decision, the best thing you could do is look at it from another person's standpoint and give that person advice. And you would want that person to follow your advice. But the person that you're giving the advice to is yourself. You should give yourself advice and listen to the advice as if you weren't giving yourself advice, if that makes any sense. I got some stuff kicking around upstairs that I got some cool ideas. I got some very cool ideas and I have given myself my advice. I need to follow, I need to follow my own advice. So that's my little tip of the night as I'm falling asleep. I'm really tired right now, it's getting really late. But I just wanted to throw this in at the end of the vlog. Follow your own advice, follow your heart, follow what's in here as well as what's in here. They both work together very well. And normally, your first instinct, your first decision of what you think about something is normally the right decision. I think that's even a fact, a scientific fact I've read somewhere. Actually, I don't know if I've read that anywhere or not. It might even be completely untrue. But I've heard, I've heard that the first instinct you have is normally, more than 50% of the time, the correct decision. So follow your heart, follow your mind, follow your own advice. I will see you tomorrow. I really appreciate you guys watching all these vlogs, especially the new edited format. I try to throw in some unedited goodness in here, but I'm really excited about the way these vlogs are continuing and transpiring and progressing. And I'm able to show you a lot more stuff of what I'm doing in there. They're only going to increase more things, more excitement. So stay tuned. Love you guys. See you later.